Hi, this is Jeff Heen. Welcome to Applications of Deep Neural Networks with Washington University. In this video, we're going to explore the StyleGAN latent vector. You've seen these marvelous images of faces, cats, dogs, churches, other things. You can then train, explore the latent vector. So the latent vector is this random numeric sequence that generates each of these. By making small changes to it, you can make small changes to these images and achieve some very interesting results. Okay, we're looking at the code in GitHub 7.3. I have a link in the description that should take you right there. I am going to open this in Colab. Okay, now that we're in Colab, let's mess with the latent vector. Colab Free is perfectly good for this. Make sure that you are using a GPU though. We will go ahead and run this so that we have our G drive mapped. And we're going to go ahead and style StyleGAN3. All right. These are the same functions that we saw before. This is just letting us use StyleGAN3 from Python code. All of these functions I took from the original NVIDIA example codes and just structure them so that I can get my seeds, display images, and perform those. We're going to be working with the StyleGAN3 rotational invariant neural network. So we're going to go ahead and pull those weights now. And we're going to see how we can fine tune a face. So let's go ahead and run this. I am going to generate some faces between 40, 20 and 40, 30, just to get a good starting point. This is going to take a moment to load all of the required StyleGAN plugins, so I'll fast forward through this. And again, remember, these are seeds, and the seeds are used to generate the 512 number latent vectors that actually generate the images. We're going to fine tune the 512 latent vectors. I wish we could fine tune just the seed and end up with something simple like that seed, but alas, it you don't get that much variety in the seeds. They're good starting points, but you need to modify that 512 number vector to get there. All right, now we're seeing our seeds. So we can choose who we want to start from. We'll do this guy in the hat, 4021. So I'm gonna put in his seed as my starting value. And that's the starting seed. I can scale up or down. The full 1024 by 1024 is fairly large, so we want to see a lot of these at once. I'm just going to run this and we're going to display my starting person. This is him. And then I'm going to explore. So we've got this 512 vector number that is generating him. I am going to explore around that. I'm going to choose an explore size of 25. And this is just going to generate a whole bunch of, well, 25, 512 number seeds, 512 number latent vectors that we might want to explore with him. And we can choose the direction that we're going to want to move. We're going to do, choose negative one initially because we're just going to start at that position that he was at and we're not going to move anywhere. We're just exploring in 25 different directions. So let me go ahead and run this. And you can see some variants of him. Look, his, this is cool. His hat is changing. And his face is changing. Look, there he has a beard. There he's clean shaven, clean shaven. Let's see if we can find one without a hat. They all have hats, so the, the hat gene is strong in that, in that vector. But you choose one of these that you, that you like. Let's, beards are cool. Let's give this guy more facial hair. Which of these has the most facial hair? This one, direction 22. So now we're going to move in the 22 direction. We are now changing our vector so that it's out there at 22. And now we're going to explore those directions as well. And look, even more facial hair, less facial hair, different, different types of hats. 
And this is what you just do over and over and over again to fine tune it. Let's just pick the one with the most facial hair. I'm going to go with direction zero. We'll generate more. You can see the hats starting to go away in some of these. like 20 the hat is starting to go away and there's more facial hair I kind of like 15 too even more we'll go 20 but you can see how you do this you just repeat this over and over and over again we're going in direction 20 Look at that, no hat and even more facial hair. That's, we'll, we'll, we'll consider that one the keeper. So that's how you fine tune these. And I didn't see any glasses showing up. So that, that, could be, that could be tricky as well. What I will sometimes do if I do want glasses, I did a whole video on adding glasses. You find a latent vector somewhere out there, several of them that have glasses and you sort of pull this guy in that direction and you look at the one where you're he maintains his original look but doesn't really lose too much about himself but then gets the glasses so lots of ideas to try out there but you can see this is how you fine-tune your latent vector and this is just a numpy vector you would want to save it probably to a numpy binary file or a csv or something so that you don't lose it thank you for watching this video and if you want to stay up to date with this course as well as other projects that i work on please subscribe to my youtube channel and give this video a like if it was useful to you thank you for watching